Hello everyone, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome to Pokemon Leaf Green version. Yes, I'm playing this game. Sorry for the random cut there. And yeah, the reason I'm playing this game, even though I've already done the Let's Play on this before, is because, let's be honest, that Let's Play was very flawed and very unorganized. I wanted to go back to this series, I, w I wanted to go back to this game, and and pretty much do, this, do the whole series again. This time it's going to be a complete playthrough. Hope, w hopefully with, with no errors, if we can do as little errors as possible. It's not going to be anything like my first one, right? I'm even going to be using a different team. I, yeah, I'm going to be using a different team. Everything's going to be different. It's going to be like a basically a complete walkthrough. I'm going to try to put research in this series. So let's, let's get this game started. And now we're going to start a new game. That's my 64 things wrong. Save, shameless plug. And yeah, here we go. We're starting this off, and I doubt anyone who's watching my videos has never played a Pokemon game, so I'm just gonna go go on these for a little bit. If you need to read these, you can go ahead and pause, but none of you probably do, but in case anyone does, you can just pause there. And now, it's time to begin our journey. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. There we go, our adventure is beginning now. Starting with Professor Oak. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Why, does, why do people just prefer, prefer to you as the Pokemon Professor? I think people will be calling you Professor Oak. I, I, I don't know though, I don't know Pokemon. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a, as a profession. I can't seem to read that far ever. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Yeah, my bad reading is probably going to make this entertaining. Are you a boy or are you Grill? I'm a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? My name, we're just going to go with what I did before, D DSK. What better name would there be? Yes, my name is, is DSK. And this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Um, what was his name now? I don't know how you forget your grandson's name, but that's a watered down joke, so we're just going to go ahead and name him. Let's go and call him Scully, just, again, just like the old series. Some things are going to be similar to the old series, but most things are going to be different. Hey, was it Scully? Yes, it was. That's right, I remember now, his name is Scully. Yeah, I'm not going to be like some people and name him something stupid. I'm actually naming him something that makes sense. DSK! Or just keep going. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. Our world of dreams and adventures of Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Let's go Pikachu, Levy. Now, those games are coming out later this year, as I'm recording this, and as the time it goes up. But yeah, I decided to, to just go with the real remakes of Kanto. I wouldn't be surprised if these games end up having more content than Let's Go, but I'm not going to hate on Let's Go until it comes out, and I really don't like it. Uh, until then, I'm not really going to be too judgmental about it. I mean, there's some things I don't really like about it so far, but I'm going to save my full opinions for when the games come out. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah, I know Pokemon Company's given Kanto way too much love, but the only reason why I'm going back to the series is not to give Kanto more love because I wish Pokemon Company would stop, would stop doing it one of these days. Yeah, the, reason, the only reason why I'm going back to the series is not because of that, it's because... Well, I just wanted to... I just wanted to go back to an old series... Like, the first part of, the, of this series, the old series, was my very first video. Yeah, the series is that old, and it ended less than a year later. One of my shortest Leslie series ever, even though it was it still lasted pretty long. That's kinda sad. And yeah, actually I wanna check up there. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, we're we're gonna check we're gonna check the things up here. I'm gonna read whatever we can. As you saw, I just withdrew the potion up there. You can in older Pokemon games you can withdraw the potion from a PC. And yeah, I just have a few things to say at first, like like, yeah, I just want to revisit that old series and try to improve on it, because that series was heavily flawed in my opinion. My older videos were very flawed, so I just want to try to perfect that series now, make it a lot better. I mean, all my other series, 
maybe they didn't start off good either, but at least they ended good because they were... It was later in my channel's like, lifetime that I finished them off in, so they finished strong, but they didn't start off strong. This series didn't start or finish strong. And it's my first series, so that's why I want to do a complete walkthrough of, of it this time. And just make it a lot better. Make this like my best... I'm gonna... I want to try to make this my best series on, on this entire channel. And yeah... There already are other complete walkers of Kanto out there, like Psycho's walkthrough of Pokemon Yellow, or Chugga Conroy's walkthrough of, of Pokemon Fire Red. But this is going to be my own take on things. I am a bit different from those two. I, I mean, everyone's different. So yeah, hopefully you, got, you guys enjoy this series anyway, even though those two already have their own walkthroughs. And yeah, let me just go over some features here for a bit. There's the PC! If you go to your, if you go to this PC or your own personal PC in the Pokemon Centers, you can access the item storage in the mailbox. In the item storage, since since bag storage isn't infinite in these games, I don't think that happens until Gen 4. You, if you want to keep items but they can't all fit in your bag, you would just put them in here. And yeah, also in older games there would be a potion here by default to get to start you off the free potion. And it's a nice thing. And yeah, that's... I, I really kind of like that feature, but it didn't really need to exist anymore once they made Backspace Infinite. So that's why they dropped it after a while. It's a nicely made dresser. It'll hold a lot of stuff. Yes, it will, but we're leaving here pretty soon, so that doesn't matter. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. Yep, and both things say it. And our bed doesn't say anything. Seek your play with the NES. Okay, it's time to go. Yeah, you, you know Kanto's old when the main character's playing with an NES and not any other console. It's supposed to notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Press the L or R button. And yes, we're going to be going over those features now. If you press L or R and Folk One Fire and Leave Green only, you get this. Greetings, this is the help system. Call me up whenever and wherever you need by pressing the L or R button. This help message the help messages change to suit the situation, so check them often, please. And yep, this is a whole menu telling you about the game. They'll, like, tell you things that you might need to know. It's perfect for beginners, but if you're an experienced player like me, you don't need it. So, really, I'm just gonna be doing what I did for the controls things in the beginning. I'm just gonna... Go, I'm just gonna show it, and then you guys can pause if you need it. I, I mean, most of you probably won't, but if you need it, then you can just pause. So, here we go. We're starting at about this game, the help, the help system. There we go. Not reading. I'm, I'm not reading these. I'm just gonna go over them quickly because this video will be really long if I read them all. And yep, there we are. And a wireless adapter. That's not really something we could do. And what are Pokemon? Yep, there we go. Anytime a new help menu will pop up, I will try to show it. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna get to show them all, but I'll show as many as I can. There we go, and I can't get out of the room. Ah, so that's... These, these help menus are specific to this room. That's why I said I can't get out of the room. So, yep, I'm pretty sure that was everything. Yep, so there was the help system, the game, wireless adapter, what are Pokemon, what should I be doing, and I can't get out of a room. So, yep, now that those are all done, let's head downstairs. And we're going to check the TV first. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go to. Yep, that's right. Dishes and plates are neatly lined up. It smells delicious. Somebody's been cooking here. I wonder who's been cooking. I mean, I mean, I bet Red's cooking. Red seems like a really good cook. Right. All boys sleep home someday. It said so on TV. Oh yes, P Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Yep, now we finally get to leave the house. Yeah, this series is going to be a lot more slow-paced than the original one. The original one, I kind of just breezed through the game. And this one, like I said, it's a complete walkthrough, so we're going to check everything we can. I'm also going to try to get all the hidden items in the game, so that's part That's part of the reason why I said I'll be doing... I'll be trying to put research into this, so I can find out what all the hidden items are. So anyway, this is my house. And if we go over here, this is Scully's house. Let's enter Scully's house and see what's inside. Hi, the sheep killer. My brother Scully is out of the grandpa's lab. Hey, yeah, Professor Oak, is there a grandfather? Grandfather, not grandfather. And it looks like they used to say the exact same thing. There's a Pokemon on TV. It looks like it's having fun. The lovely and sweet Clefairy. 
The shelves are crammed full of books on Pokémon. And I'm pretty sure all, that's all this house has to offer, except maybe this thing. What's this? It's a big map with it's a big map of the Kanto region. Now this would be useful. Yep, indeed it would. Maybe we can get it later. Who knows? And now let's read this sign from the side. Palatown. Shades of your journey awaits. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. Signs are useful, aren't they? Uh, yes they are. Now what do you have to say, good sir? Technology is incredible! You can now store and recall items and Pokémon as data via PC. And this is the Oak Pokémon Research Lab. Let, let's not go to the Oak Research Lab just yet. Let's try to leave town, just because we can. Hey, wait! Don't go out! It's unsafe! Wild Pokémon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokémon for your protection. I know! Here, come with me! Gramps! I'm fed up with waiting! Scully, let me think. Oh, that's right! I told you to come! Just wait! Here, does she kill her? There are three Pokémon here. Haha! <laughs> the Pokémon are held inside these Pokéballs! When I was young, I was a serious Pokémon trainer! But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on! Choose! Hey, Gramps! No fair! What about me? Be patient, Scully. You can have one, too. Yeah, he seems to favor me over his own grandson, and oh, it looks like my settings are already set. I guess that's not by save file, but rather by game, because I have played this before multiple different times. And as you can see, here's the trainer card. It's blue. And you start off with 3,000 Poké Dollars. And looks like we have eight minutes of play time. The video's longer than that, obviously, because of the beginning. The save option is on the menu. Use it regularly. Press start to open the menu. It's, an, it's it's like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank. There's an email message here. Finally, the ultimate trainers of the Pokémon League are ready to take on all comers. Bring your best Pokémon and see how you rate as a trainer. Pokémon League Headquarters, Indigo Plateau. Professor Oak, please visit us! Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. Yeah, that's the same thing. Now that's just the same thing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, why? Okay, what's this? What could this machine be? Better not mess around with it. And nothing there, and I assume we can't pass here yet. Yeah. And let's see if these bookshelves say anything new. It's cramped full of Pokemon books. Ah, oh, that's just the same message. And it looks like there's nothing else for us to do right now. Yeah. We gone over we gone over everything. The bag is like your storage and any extra storage goes in the PC. This is your trainer card, which has all your information on it. This is how you save your game, which we might as well do right now. Um yeah, we already have a save over this. Ah, uh, I guess we're not gonna do that, but if you're if you're playing, then you're gonna save. Option. Yeah, this is just your options. You get to choose your tech speed whether battle animations are on or not. And battle style shift or set shift, it'll let you know what Pokemon is about to be sent out and you get to choose what is what you send out afterwards. I think we're gonna have it on set this time, cause, just because I never do. Set is where you, is basically where that doesn't happen. Pokemon's just immediately sent out. I think it's more fair that way. I mean, the opponent can't do it that way. And obviously we're gonna stereo sound. Button mode, we're just gonna leave that the way it is. And then here's your text frame. You can have all sorts of different colors. This looks like an old-school style one. I'm not sure, though. I like having the blue one, though. But yeah, that's all That's all the settings and stuff. That's everything explained. And now let's take a look at all the starters. Here is Bulbasaur. I see Bulbasaur is a choice. It's really, it's very easy to raise. So, does Shikyo, you want to go with the grass Pokemon Bulbasaur? And now, here is Squirtle. Hmm, Squirtle is your choice. It's, it's one worth raising. So, does Shikyo, you decided on the water Pokemon Squirtle? And here is the most popular one of the three, Charmander. Ah, Charmander's your choice. You should raise it patiently. So, to keep your, you're claiming the Fire Pokemon Charmander. So, as I'm sure you all know, Bulbasaur is the grass starter. He's a grass poison type, fully evolves into Venusaur, which is, which is a really good Pokemon. Then Squirtle, the water type starter. And it's a pure water type, fully evolves into Blastoise, a pretty good water Pokemon. And then Charmander, the fire starter. 
it fully evolves into Charizard, the fire flying type, which a lot of people love. Some people hate it, though, because it's so popular. But Charizard's a pretty good Pokemon. I still don't know why I got two Mega Evolutions, but hey, Charizard's still pretty cool. Anyway, I am choosing Squ Squirtle <laughs> Bulbasaur as our starter. I don't know why I said Squirtle. And yes, we are going with Bulbasaur. It's quite energetic. We received Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Now, although Bulbasaur is the least popular of the three starters, it's actually the best one to use. You know, it looks like we got a female one. I was going to name it King, but it's female. I don't know why I should do. And we're, we're going to name it King anyway. We're going to ignore its gender and call it King. I, I guess. I really wanted to call it King, so we're just going to ignore that call it King anyway. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll take this one then, and he chooses Charmander. Of course he does. Like I was saying, although Bulbasaur is the least popular of the three Kanto starters, it's actually the best one to use. You have advantage against the first two gems with it. And it and like Professor Oak said, it's pretty easy to raise. It's got a naive nature. And Yeah, not not so bad stats. Its special defense is lower than everything else, surprisingly. I thought that'd be the highest. Anyway, not that's not bad at all. We can do we can do with that. Even though it's a female Bulbasaur named King. And yeah. Yeah, the exit just closes the menu window. I'm sure you all figured that one out even though I didn't say anything. Once you get your first Pokemon, this menu option pops up, Pokemon. Where you can just see your team of Pokemon. You can up to six, as I'm sure you all know. Anyway, now we are going to leave the lab. Wait, to Sheep Killer, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And there we go. We're starting off our first rival battle. Rival score we like to battle. That's, this is this is what your rival does in the game. He will frequently battle you to test your strength. And he is a bit arrogant in this game. He likes to just say some things to you that can be kind of rude, as I'm, as I'm sure you all know. Much unlike modern Pokemon rivals, which are all friendly and stuff and give you items, the Cancer rival, nothing like that. He is rude and, and just makes you motivated to beat him by just being a jerk. That's what, and that, and after your last battle with him, it just it just feels good to beat him because he's just he's just he's just rude and and stuff, and I that's probably not explained this well, but yeah, it feels good beating him in the end because of that. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Pushy killer, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. So yeah, I just explained the Kanto arrival. Over there. Probably not that good. I, I'm not sure. But yeah. he Basically, he's just not like modern Pokemon rivals at all. He's like the opposite of friendly. Not as, not as rude as the Gen 2 rival, but still pretty rude. And basically that just motivates you to want to surpass him just because of how much he tries to push you down. And he's always one step ahead of you as well. So yeah, th that that's what makes him a better rival than modern Pokemon rivals in my opinion. He's one of the better rivals in the series in my opinion just because of how... Just because of how rude he is and how he's always one step ahead of you, it just motivates you to win. That's just how it is. And yeah, inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Yeah, I'm just going to try to explain a lot more stuff in this series as well. Just to make it, like, a complete walkthrough of sorts. Yeah, that, this is what I mean by it's going to be completely different from my old series. I did nothing like this in the old series. I just kind of went through the game talking about my own things. But now I'm going to go through everything I possibly can in the game and just explain whatever I can. And lowering the foe's death will put you at an advantage. That's right. So now that I've lowered his attack with Growl, it's going to be doing less damage. His attacks are going to be doing less damage anyway. And yeah, I didn't explain Bulbasaur's moves. Tackle is just a basic attacking move that you need to spam in order to win. And Growl is a move that lowers the opponent's attack. So you take less damage from physical attacks. And physical attacks in this game at least, and all, and all, and all older Pokemon games, are judged by type. For example, normal, ta normal attacks like Tackle are all physical. Physical, physical. And all fire, grass, water, and electric, dragon moves, ice. They're all special. I'll, I'll explain that whole thing later because I don't have the information on hand right now. But yeah, just know the physical special split that we all know and appreciate today does not exist until Diamond and Pearl. That was the first; those were the first games that introduced it. 
and he's got a critical on me. So yeah, I'm going to explain how physical and special works in these games later, at a later time, probably in the next episode or something. But yeah, for now, we're just going to try to go through this battle. And yeah, some of you who end up winning while just, spam while just spamming probably don't see this message. It's important to get to know your Pokémon thoroughly. This is a list of your Pokémon. Did you kill her? Open this to check the skills and moves of your Pokémon. You, you, you can also choose Pokémon here if you want to use an item on one. And yep, now there we go. Now he's going to say something else that you, pro that you guys will probably never see. Keep your, eye keep your eyes on your Pokémon's HP. It will faint if the HP drops to zero. Yep, that's why he was just telling us that. And now we should be able to win, because we're pretty much at full health right now. Yeah, even if he gets a crit at this point, we're all good. Yep, we win. There we go. Charmander was defeated. And with that, we gained 69 experience points. Max HP, 3. This is just our stats going up. I don't know why I read it like that, but this is our stats going up after leveling up. Again, another basic thing of Pokemon. Your stats... Every time you level up, your stats will go up. And they actually, they actually defer by natures and IVs and stuff like that. I think I'll explain that stuff later. I don't really know how IVs work in Gen 3. I don't know if it's the same as modern games or not. But natures, I'll explain that later as well, even though I probably could right now. Next episode's probably going to be full of explaining just basic stuff in Pokemon. There might be a filler episode or two throughout this series that you guys might want to skip if you just want to see me go through the story. I'm not sure about that, though. And yeah, King leveled up, and... Here we go, Rival Scully was defeated! What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon! That's right, Charmander's the worst starter. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokémon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokémon strong! Okay, I'll make my... I'll make my Pokémon battle to toughen it up. To sheep killer, Gramps, smell you later. That's a thing you'll be hearing him say a lot, smell you later. And now what's he gonna say to us? The Sheep Killer, raise your young Pokemon by making it battle. It has to battle for it to grow. That's right, that's how Pokemon grow, and now we can talk to these people. Professor Oak may not look like much, but he is the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aid. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aid. It looks like they're both Professor Oak's aides, and... Again, just cram full Pokemon books, we see that a lot. And with that, we have done a lot in the beginning of the game. I believe this is a good time to end the episode. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green, the first episode of the walkthrough. So I'll see you guys in the next one, where we are going to leave Pallet Town and move on to later things in the game. I could have made this episode longer, but might as well just end it off here. We've, I've explained a lot today, and next episode I'm probably going to be explaining even more, so I better get ready for that. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode, where we're going to be leaving Pallet Town and explaining a lot of stuff. I'll see you guys then. Happy hunting!